All right, our first guest today is making something really, really yummy here. One of your favorite comfort foods, and it is conveniently available. Yes, joining us, Martha Seligson, owner of St. Martha Foods. Welcome. Hi. Hi, good Hi. to have you today. What are we making today right here, this beauty? So we are gonna make turkey meatloaf. And we, um, yeah, that's what we're gonna make. We're gonna okay. make turkey meatloaf. So a lot of times, and I know like my mom, when she made meatloaf, it was ground beef and pork right, mix in right. there. But a lot of people say turkey? Well, turkey is delicious. One, never get the low fat kind. Okay. Get the 93% okay. fat. Right. And then what I do, my friend Julie developed this recipe. She spent months figuring it out and she very kindly shared it with me, but stops there. <laughs> and what we do is we take mushrooms and onions and mince them really finely in the food processor. So see how you did and it then there. Okay. Saute it in butter and olive oil with seasonings, and that mushroom mm -hmm. keeps it moist, and we don't cook out all the liquid out of the mushrooms and onions, and it helps keep the turkey moist and gives it a really nice pop of flavor. So flavor it doesn't have, said, like, go ahead, sorry. not a mushroomy flavor? Right. No, right. an umami flavor, which is that, like, sixth sense that people don't really know what it is, but mm -hmm. it, but you know it when you taste it. It's like, you know, art. And we got a couple of eggs in there yep. and some Worcestershire. Correct, and then, and then we have some breadcrumbs and English muffin? from the English muffin. Okay. because as I said it's an easy way to measure we're gonna add some fresh parsley the salt and pepper is already in there and of course we're gonna add some ketchup just Got regular it. old ketchup in the meatloaf okay. and the that fun good? part that that's good yeah. okay maybe it's maybe a squirt more <laughs> just I for yeah. posterity it's Friday yes. Yes. exactly perfect you can't really have too much and then the fun part is spoon doesn't work nah. just get both hands get in, in there, there. Yep. Yes. and mix you. it mix it mix it all right. You said you didn't grow up with meatloaf, right? No, my mom didn't make meatloaf. My dad didn't like meatloaf. So I didn't grow up with meatloaf. Uh -huh. um, and I don't even think my kids like meatloaf, well, but funny. I love meatloaf. I think either you love it or you don't like it Exactly, at all, so. exactly. Okay, so for the glaze, Mike's going to work well, on Mike's that. Mike's mixing that. So then my secret ingredient in the glaze that gives it a little hometown flair is the Whataburger Ooh, spicy ketchup. Which I love. Yeah. So really? this is some spicy ketchup here if you want to get it all out with the spatula. You can help me. This <laughs> is some spicy ketchup and some regular ketchup. Okay. And then we finish that off with a few squirts of Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of brown sugar. I'll get the and brown then, sugar. Did you put that on while it's baking? Yes, you put that on. Okay. Um, you put that on when it's raw like this and okay. then we'll go ahead and whisk that up. This is really easy too. Oh, it's so I know easy. I you're not giving us the whole recipe, but the nah, most part. Julie swore me to secrecy. <laughs> but, no. but we're seeing these little twists you put in, like yeah. the spicy ketchup. And then what I do is I usually take I take a little spatula and kind of flatten the meatloaf down in the pans. Okay. If you were going to do it at home, I wouldn't use these foil pans, but this is for sale. And so, that's the thing. Now, for sale, where can folks find your, your meatloaf and uh, all these goodies? You can buy my meatloaf at Rose Hip Market. Sorry, oh, I got no, it. Oh, no, it's uh -huh. okay. At Rose Sorry, Hip Market you. on <laughs> Olmus. And it is a fam. It is a female-owned little coffee shop with food to go and delicious coffee. and. That's you know, happy dance so right my there. stuff is mostly all frozen. I have a few Ooh. snack items, but mostly frozen. What the, do you think, Mike? The, the, the tangy sauce on there, but yeah, as far as the moisture and, because I'm not a mushroom fan, because the first thing I was like, okay, mushroom, oh, yeah. you don't even you taste it at all, him. do you? Yeah, I did scare you. <laughs> no, you don't taste the mushroom. Uh -huh. It just tastes nice and really moist, and, I think. And, and it's got a real, a good rustic flavor to it. Thank with you. All that in there. Thank you. Like I you think said, it's very you can't tasty. Put your finger on exactly what it is. But it adds that extra. And a lot of the recipes you said you got from your mother, right? I did. I did. I learned to cook with my mom, and she was a comfort cook and a very beautiful entertainer. Uh -huh. And so I learned to make foods that you really want to enjoy around the table with your family. And I love to linger around the table and just have a whole, a Jen, whole experience. Jen turned up her nose when I said, "Have you ever taken cold meatloaf? Then the next oh. day, put it between white bread with a little mustard on there. Delicious. Good You've done that. Okay, meatloaf sandwich. Well, I have, but not." With mustard, so that's different. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not sure I would do the mustard, but I can see, see it. Okay. Some of the other things that you can get there. The yes. pot pie. Chicken Where, pot that pie. one's really popular. The pot pie is popular. It sells out very quickly. It's very labor intensive. What's in? What's all in there? Is it oh, you know, it's heavy? your general chicken, vegetables, <laughs> double carrots, no celery because I don't like celery. Okay. And then it's a cream cheese broth-based gravy. Wait, so it's not runny. Again. Cream, cream cheese. cheese and broth and a little sherry-based gravy. How many wow. different uh, entrees and do they kind of rotate? Uh, they rotate. Them, so. I try to have, we, at Rosehip, we try to have about five different sort of frozen casserole kinds of things mm -hmm. and two or three frozen soups. 
So we try to keep it like that. It's not, you know, it's a, it's an, it's not an exact science. You know, comfort. That's, food. Yes, yeah, comfort that, food. That's very good. Thank you. That's really good. <laughs> thank you. I saw I get a few bites. Yeah. Yes. Right. For thank more you. information, thank you, Martha, on St. Martha Foods. You can head to our website, essaylive.com. Click the as seen on essay live tab or that QR code on your screen. You can scan that. It'll take you there as well. Celebrate San Antonio with us on YouTube. Yeah, all of your favorite DIY videos, food, drinks, tips, and tricks. If you've seen it here. It's on the SA Live YouTube channel. Just search KSAT SA Live on YouTube and like, subscribe, and ring the bell.